Hi everyone, I'm Barbara Kay, and today we're at JNR Music World located in beautiful New York City. I'm going to be showing you how to DIY in the bathroom. That's do it yourself in your bathroom. Fixing a leaky faucet, retrieving jewelry from the drain, and replacing your shower head. Also, we're going to be installing a new towel bar. I'm here to help you figure out how to do it yourself in your bathroom with JNR Music World. It's really easy to change your shower head. All you need is a plier, okay, or a wrench. You go to the hardware store, and I picked this up yesterday for 99 cents. This is called sealant tape, and the sealant tape wraps around this stem, and this is what prevents the, the water from coming in. So when you replace the new shower head, you put the sealant tape around the stem, and then you take the new shower head and you twist it on, okay? And then you take your pliers and your or your wrench, and it's always, and I like to use a rag, I don't have one here today, but you always turn to the right. In plumbing, it's always left loose, right tight. I don't know if you guys have ever dropped jewelry down the drain or something that you wanted to retrieve down the drain. What you need to do in that case, underneath your sink are hot and cold water valves. Those are the local valves for your sink. There's a main shutoff valve somewhere in your home or in the apartment, but under each sink, same with the toilet bowl, there's a shutoff valve so you can always shut the water off. There's two gaskets right here. What I do is again put something around it so you don't scratch it and if I turn this to the left, this comes off and if I turn this one, this comes off. So after you take this and you have it off, you pour it into, I, I like to have a bucket underneath the drain. So when it comes out, there's going to be gook and water. So you should probably wear some gloves if you don't want to ruin your manicure or whatever. A lot of um, faucets these days are washerless. They don't have washers. They're just automatically good. But I don't know about you guys, but in my house, I have a washer. In my I live in an older building. Basically, washers are very inexpensive. Washers or O-rings, that's what causes a leak to occur, occur. And it's very, very easy to replace the washer. I mean, these are literally pennies in a hardware store. You'll need a towel, both a flat head and a Phillips head screwdriver, slip joint pliers, and a new washer or O-ring, like the one that needs to be replaced. First, open both faucets. Then shut off the water by tightening the valves under the sink. Let the pipes empty completely. Then place a towel in the sink to protect it. If there's a cap on the faucet handle, gently pry it off with a flat end screwdriver. Use a screwdriver to remove the screw that holds the handle in place. Then remove the handle. Using your wrench or pliers, loosen the nut at the base of the stem. Once you have it off, remove the stem. Faucets will either have O-rings or a washer like this one here. The washer is a little disc screwed to the bottom of the stem. Save the screw, and this is the washer. If your washer or O-ring is cracked or brittle, replace it. Now reassemble the faucet by reversing the previous instructions. Remove the towel and turn the valves under the sink back on. Perfect. There's these great towel uh, towel bars, and we can try and put put this up. But these are um, they're like little plastic anchors. These shields right here act as a support in the wall. When it gets screwed into this, it acts as like um, a reinforcement. These right here are really, really neat. These go into the wall and they expand when you put them in and they lock in the screw. In construction, walls are supposed to be built with studs every 16 inches on center. So that means every 16 inches you'll find a metal stud in back of your wall like there is right here. 
So if you live in a pre-war building, though, you won't find this. It's only in the newer buildings that you'll find this. So if you're hanging pictures, if you're hanging towel bars, anything that you're attaching to the wall, you want to try and hit the stud because that's going to reinforce it. But if you're not sure where the stud is, like sometimes you don't know if they've built it every 16 inches. Maybe they've done it every 15 inches. You don't really know. So just to make sure, we can use these, these uh, wall anchors or we can use the dollies which reinforce it. What I like to do is I like to measure the wall. So I, I don't know about you, but I, if you want to be more precise, you can measure the wall and then put this towel bar up so that it's even. Okay, so 46 and a half, and this is, now we want to measure your towel bar. You should measure right where the holes are. 17 and a half. So Bob is marking, marking where to put the towel bar. So now Bob's dr drilling. Ooh, that was that was pretty quick. This is where the plastic shields come into place. And in case it, you have a hard time getting it in, you just use a hammer to tap it in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your screw, but we're going to change the power drill back into a, a screw bit. And then he's going to take uh, his screw and he's going to put the plastic shield through the bracket that we have onto the wall. What he's doing is he took his screw and he put it through the bracket, okay? And now he's going to tighten it onto the wall. Perfect. That was great.